Good afternoon, this is Andy from Vehicle Fits. This is a demonstration of what we've done to this uh, Euro 6 pre facelift uh, manual transit custom. So, this custom has had the Starline S96. Uh, we've also fitted a front proximity sensor. We've also done one touch windows. Um, I'm just doing, we're doing speakers as well and soundproofing, but uh, Customers doing uh, speakers himself to save a bit of money, so that's fine by me. I've supplied the parts to him. Uh, so yeah, the uh, one-touch window hack is uh, quite useful. So as you see, when you press that, um, when you flick that, you get one touch on the passenger side, which you don't normally get. That's one touch up and one touch down as well. There you go. You can stop it any times by clicking the button, or if you just hold it, you'll get momentary uh, wind up momentary wind down as well or one touch same as the driver's side there you go so we also link that into the alarm so that feature itself is a nice touch but we also integrate this into the alarm to give you uh, some buttons on the app where you can wind the windows up wind them down vent them also the alarm will roll the windows up when you lock it or double lock it, depending how you want it configured. This customer wanted his mirrors to fold on double lock and to fold out on engine start. Saves them flip-flopping all day. So um, I'll show you how remote start works on a manual. Um, he's had the seats out because he's doing some work on his battery as well. So he's haven't got a lot of work done. I'm just showing you the, uh, the alarm before I leave today. So yeah, program neutral is what you need to do to uh, to remote start a manual vehicle so it knows it's not in gear. So it will never be in gear when you try and start it. It will never try and shunt forwards in first or reverse. It's totally fail safe. So basically when you finish the journey, so this is me simulating the journey, engine's running. When you put the handbrake on, you will see this um, status LED light up blue. So that's gone solid and that basically means um, program neutral is configured so what you do is you need to turn the ignition off engine is still running as you can see this is all part of the process to determine the vehicle is in neutral and will be in neutral when you try and start the engine so shut the door engine still running so what we're going to do is lock the van double lock it that'll fold the mirrors in and roll the windows up then I'll show you what happens next so one one click will turn the engine off and if we double lock it one two hang on I've left something open oh, I do wish I'd rehearse these videos oh yeah the soft doors open under your dick sorry right let's do all that again because program neutral will fail if there's any doors open. So, show you again. Start the engine. Ooh. Release the handbrake. Reapply the handbrake. Solid light on the dash. Remove the key, engine running. So, we'll lock it once. Let's do the mirrors, let's do the windows again. Let's get the windows down. So yeah, engine's still running when you lock the van. There you go, one click means the alarm is armed. It's flashing away nice and bright up there. Um, I'm going to roll the windows up as well and fold the mirrors in, so that's double click. You then get windows roll on both sides. So the engine's stopped running now and the van knows it's in neutral. So if we uh, if we have a look at this on the Starline online server, come on. Uh, so we'll log in. There you go. So vehicle showing us that it's in neutral mode and it's armed because this little halo is over it. It's showing us the van voltage is 13.8. It's showing us the internal temperature in the dash is 32. We've added some buttons to, you can change these buttons on the uh, 
Omni Starline dot online login. You can customize all, all these. I recommend logging into the Starline dot online as a backup, so it's always available if you're at home and your phone's like flat or on charge or whatever. If anything happens to the van, you can ask somebody at home to open the laptop and uh, they can control the van from the laptop. So we've got a window vent button in here. We've got start stop. So I'll just show you that. So what we'll do is hit start. That's processing the request. There you go. So that started and running safely. No keys in the ignition. Um, not a run for 15 minutes. The van's still secure. You can turn the engine off if you want. You can restart it. As long as you don't open the uh, doors, you can start and stop it as much as you want. So this is showing that it's uh, engine running. It's showing it's in neutral when it knows it's in neutral. It's showing it's armed and it's showing the van voltage um, and all that. So I'm going to vent the windows now, so if you click on the window vent button you'll see that they, uh, they vented which is nice, but if someone does uh, approach the vehicle what they'll do, the proximity will sense their approach and wind the windows up There you go So that saw me stand within foot of the uh, driver's door and um, wound the windows up so to get in the vehicle and drive off you need to unlock it you need to open the door you need to put the key in the ignition and you just need to press the brake and that's good to go and you're back to normal so engine off and that will uh, stop the engine as usual so yeah that's the Starline S9 with dual window one touch remote start horn honk proximity, window roll, window venting, mirror fold, off, double lock, and um, engine start. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's Andy from Vehicle Fit. Cheers.